Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Heartbeat Partner Spotlight. Today, I'm featuring Gauri. I hope I said that right. Gauri? Gauri? I'm not 100% how to say that correctly, but check out his channel here, guys. He is a Heartbeat Partner, and he's making great moments. If you see here behind me, take a look at this. He's got all sorts of of different styles of moments that he's covering. And this is what I really like about him. We've got some funny compilations here. We've got some action movies here. We've got some uh, something in Switzerland. I don't even know what Interlaken means, but it looks like a dream vacation or a dream home in Switzerland. And then we've got some videos about a 11 year old uh, messy prodigy, street food in Karachi, worldwide wrestling. Or <laughs> we got some WWE action down here. It's crazy. China's top manufacturing. And then Aquaman. What the hell? Everything is on here, guys. I love this. George has said in previous videos that when you create moments, he wants you, if possible, to create about all the different things that interest you. Not just necessarily one topic like gaming or sports or music or movies, but if you have a wide variety of interests, go ahead, create moments on it. Gory has done that. So I want to take a quick look here at one of his most recent ones, which is just five hours old, Funny Moments of the Year compilation. You're going to love this. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy, what's in there? Oh jeez. <laughs> what the hell is that? Frog? Oh my god. Hello, frog. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that, guys. You see, he's got some really funny moments here. Let's skip forward to 251. He's got another couple of moments here. Uh, funny moments of the year compilation. Here we go. Here's the second moment. Come on, Come on, horsey. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, careful, horse. I'm not, I don't like that moment just because you horses can't really do that, and they're at a very high risk of breaking their legs. So I'm going to skip that one. Okay. Yeet. Come on, kitty. Blow it out. That is hilarious. Oh my. I'm sorry. What? Did they just wash that elephant's undercarriage by doing the elephant doing a frigging nose handstand? All right, I'm liking this. Watch out, kid. Oh, jeez. Okay, so there's just a couple examples. I don't know if you guys remember, but... Months ago, George posted a, a sort of funny video about uh, one of his daughters ate a little bit too much candy and just ended up vomit chundering all of this candy all over the place. I bring it up because it was kind of funny and George got like hundreds of thousands of views on that video. And realistically, it's probably because of heartbeat because it was that moment of the video was so often viewed that YouTube started uh, suggesting it. And now, speaking of funny, there goes my dog barking. All right, let's go forward here. I'm going to show you an 11-year-old monster from Real Madrid. And monster meaning player, not like real monster. Here we go. Technical skills have constantly brought this. him into comparison with modern Real Madrid legend Luka Modric. Oh. Okay, so that's not really messy. That's Luka Modric. And they're completely different players. Although Modric is more of a traditional midfielder, but let's keep watching. Hugo is a playmaker who has a superb vision, does a great job nice. of reading the game, possesses a fantastic technique, and makes every goal and assist he delivers look like a walk in the park. His playing style and movements on the pitch are indeed nice. very similar to those of Modric. Moreover, the two have even met in person when Hugo attended one of Real Madrid's games and met the squad before the game. Okay, that's pretty cool. Everybody has a hero and... He got to meet his hero. And from what I hear, Luka Modric is a hell of a good guy. So very cool. Let's get forward to the second moment here. Uh, an 11-year-old monster from Real Madrid. Madrid suburb of Alcabendas. Hugo Fernandez delivered a truly Ooh. magical performance against Sporting. Nice in shot. which he simply stunned one well-known spectator. On that day, the guy was monitored by super agent Jorge Mendes. After the final whistle, he approached and lauded Ugo, and later on, he expressed his desire to represent the player. Ugo, of course, with the prior consent of his parents, okay. green-lighted the offer and became a client of Mendes' Jastrofoch agency. 
Okay, getting signed at 11 years old is a hell of a thing. And Mendez, if I remember correctly, he was Ronaldo's agent or is Ronaldo's agent. So that's a, that's a pretty big deal, guys. Let's go forward here to the next moment at 8.13. Childhood life outside of football and cameras. Luckily, the boy has the right character. He enjoys relaxing at the sea in his free time. By the way, Fernandez has the right coordination. Eating salads, walking with his brother, and decorating a Christmas tree for the New Year's holidays. Everything a normal 11-year-old boy should do. Sure, Fernandez can be a little pompous when taking pictures with someone else's Lamborghini, though the lad accompanies such photos with philosophical quotes on Instagram meant to underline his impressive maturity. Yeah, no, okay, so that's kind of cool, but uh, again, posting, you know, uh, inspirational quotes on Instagram, that was like, that was cool in 2014, so, I mean, maybe his agents could have a chat with him. Uh, anyways, good for him, young kid, good stuff. I want to show you a few more moments here. Street food Karachi. Now, I have never been to Pakistan. I don't know anything about street food, but this looks really cool. Let's take a look at Gari's next uh, couple moments here. That looks good. Are those mangoes? <laughs> Delicious. All right, I like it. Let's get forward a little more here. Let's see some other street food. Let's see it when they cooked it all up. Yeah, now we're getting into good stuff. Cook it up, fellas. Dems look like potatoes. That I am not sure about. But they're having a hard time uh, mixing it. But okay, one more. Yeah, now we're getting... Oh, look at that. Nice. So that's how they do that. That is very cool. I mean, honestly, I we have some street food type vendors out here where I live, but I've never ever been in like a street food market or anything like that. And I absolutely love spicy food, especially from... India, Pakistan, Northern India, all that stuff. Um, where else? Nepal. I love Nepalese uh, spicy stuff. Good stuff. So there you go, guys. This is just a quick overview of Gauri. He's killing it. He's made tons of videos. These ones are only five hours old. But look how many videos he's made, guys. He is giving her heart. Oh, inside mutton biryani. I might check that one out later because I like that stuff. Uh, but there you go, guys. All different types of stuff. Gauri's channel. A link's in the description below. If you guys want to make moments, guys, get on this stuff. It's getting close to payday. Big things are coming from Heartbeat. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.